Hey you guys, it's Sonia. It's been a long minute. I had to, I just got home from work. I took my coat off and I was like, let me make this video before I forget, before I take off my face and change clothes and start cooking. So it's my three year life anniversary. That was um, last week, November 17th. It's been three years, you guys. Um, currently it has been, oh boy, four months since my last retie. I haven't had a retie since, whew, July, June, somewhere in there. I'm long, long, long overdue. I love the fullness of my locks. When I do this, I'm feeling nothing but new growth. Um, but I know the minute I do this retie, I'm going to see a lot of scalp. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy this for a while. Um, remember, my daughter got locks. And the person I found, she kept both times she was late. And I have vowed not to go back. But my husband convinced me to go back one more time. Right? In the meantime, I did find somebody else. As a matter of fact, this person is someone that my cousin goes to. And so against my better judgment yet again you know so many factors played into this because she's close by our house and location is so 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 important to me she's close by she's reasonable and she actually does good work i'm very happy i was very happy with her starting her locks all that good stuff she did a very good job right so i make an appointment for her to do Talia's first retie, which was this just this past weekend. And um, we agreed on Saturday at 10 o'clock. So I text her to make sure that we're still on for, you know, 10 o'clock. And I text her early Saturday morning, right? She hits me back with, I'm so sorry, I apologize. I'm really embarrassed to say this, but yesterday was my birthday and I drank too much and I'm sick right now. I'm, I'm so nauseous and I'm really sorry. Can we push this back to later today? You guys. <laughs> I'm livid. I'm 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 steaming. And I immediately text her back. I said, no, we will reschedule. I'm we're busy today. We have things to do. I had to let her know that you're not going to keep taking advantage of me and my time, disrespecting me and my time, and acting like nobody's time matters but yours. And then when you're late. 35 minutes late, 45 minutes late, you're apologizing and you think that just makes everything okay and then you turn around and do it again. No. I said, no, we'll reschedule, which in my mind, it was like, I'm done with you. I will never give you my business again. She texts me back, no, 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 I'm sorry. I, this is my problem. I'll just have to get myself together and um, um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there at 10. I said, um, you're hung over. You know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, wait a minute. You just texted me and said that you're hung over. You're sick. And you think I'm going to bring my daughter to you and let your hungover, nasty, drunk, alcohol coming out your pores, stinky self, throwing up, still do my daughter's hair? No, absolutely not. I text her back. I said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I said, you are sick. You need to get yourself together. Get better. I said, I would rather you be well doing my daughter's hair versus you being sick and hungover. So we will reschedule some other time. She texts me again. And this time she's like, 
Please let me make this right. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I will do your daughter's hair for free. And whenever day that you choose, I'll do her hair for free. Even if it's Monday, I'll do her hair for free. I'm so sorry. Please let me make this right. I don't want you to think that I don't value your time. So I'm reading this text to my husband. I'm still not moved. I don't care that she's willing to do it for free. I don't want no dealings with her no more. Hubby, on the other hand, was like, what? Free? Go and let her do it. So I'm like, why? Why? So I'm like, okay, fine. I said, how about, so I text her back. I said, how about Monday at 10 o'clock? She said, oh, perfect, I'll be there, thank you, you know. So today comes, and my husband sent me a text. I'm at work, and I, he was like, uh, doesn't tell you have an appointment? What time is it? I said, yeah, I said 10 o'clock. And um, I text her, are we still on for 10 o'clock today? Yes, I'm, yes, we are, I'll be there. My husband takes Talia to the shop. They're waiting 10 minutes. My husband texts me. She's not here. The lactician texts me and says, I'm, I'm just on such and such a drive. I'm, I'm almost at the shop. This woman cannot be on time to save her life. This is the third time we've done business with her and each time we beat her at the shop first time she was 35 minutes late second time she was 45 minutes late today she was almost 15 minutes late i'm like i can't i cannot deal with this because she's the type and i know people like her because my last beautician i had before i stopped before I went natural. She played these games with me. She always had an, had an excuse of why she was late. It was always some family issue or something. And she just kept getting progressively worse with it. And then towards the end, it got to the point where she came to the shop mad at her at her customers. Like we did something wrong. Like we were the ones late. She would come to the shop mad at us, full-blown attitude. And I'm like, but lady, you're the one that's an hour late and you got six, seven people waiting ahead of me. And I booked an eight o'clock appointment. Make that make sense. So I know this woman's MO. I know her type and I refuse to let her, I, I refuse to go there with her. I refuse to, no. I'm not doing it. So <laughs> um, after her appointment, my husband went to go pick her up. The lactician walked her out and she was like, she kind of came. She didn't come to the car, but she got close to trying to see if I was there or in the car because she wanted to talk to me. And I'm like, so my daughter texted me. She was like, mom, she was asking for you. Maybe you should call her or text her. I said, no. Mm-mm. No, ma'am, I have nothing to say. That was your last appointment with her. We'll never see her again, ever again. We're not going back to her or that shop. That's it. I will learn how to do your retwist myself if I have to. I can go on YouTube and learn, or we can go to the other lady that I found that my cousin um, goes to, but we're, she's never, she's not getting a red cent out of me ever again. Y'all know I always keep it real. I tell the truth. I tell it like it is. <laughs> These stories, I swear, um, you can't make them up. Getting locks is no different. Getting, I will say this, getting locks and dealing with locticians is just as bad as getting your hair done at a salon, whether it's creamy crack, a natural hair salon. You never know who you're going to get. People 
are not always on the up and up and there are a lot of bad apples. I hate that we've encountered so many bad apples along the way, but I'm glad to know that my experience is not everybody else's experience. And that's a good thing. Like I'm not here to say that this is what you're going to encounter if you get locks. It's not. I'm kind of the exception, even though I hate to say that there's more people out there like me because there is but it's nice to know that other people have way way better experiences they found wonderful lacticians and people who do right by them it just hasn't been <laughs> my experience and i hate that you know it's been so hard like i've i've really really tried word of mouth and getting recommendations from people just by asking them, just strangers, you know, and nothing has worked so far. And I wish there was some type of network um, for each city or state or something where you can type in your city or even just your, your zip code and find a lactician, and not just any lactician, but a, a highly rated lactician. Like, I wish there was some kind of rating system or something, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking this out and maybe I should come up with it. <laughs> like, I wish there was just a network throughout the states of where we could just like no matter what kind of locks you have you can find a lactician to service you a well a highly rated license experience whatever you know but it's yeah so anywho that's <laughs> my latest update that just happened today, most recently, over the weekend and today. Um, my three year luck journey, I, I don't know if you guys, if, you've, if you have or haven't joined my Facebook page, it's Sonia Locks Natural Hair and More. It's on Facebook. Please join it. I did post about my three year luck anniversary and I also blogged about it. And I posted the link to my blog so you can read, you know, my thoughts on being locked for three years. Still the best decision ever. No regrets whatsoever outside of I wish I would have got the locks that I all that I wanted initially, um, which was too traditional. But I'm happy with what I have. Um, like I said, I'm in desperate need of a retie. The new growth is ridiculous. And um I think I'm going to attempt to do my retie this week and just do a little every day. And um, because my loose hairs, y'all, it's, you know, the weather has changed. Winter is here. It's dry. It's cold. And my hair is kind of that new growth, the loose hairs I have, it's getting kind of brittle. And that's concerning me. So I can't wait any longer. I was going to try to wait until December, but, and I know December will be here before we know it because we're almost done with November, but I got to do something. I got to moisturize. I need to wash these locks and um, yeah, three years, three years of growth. And these are combined sister locks where they, I started out with sister locks. Now they're just regular old, I don't know what you want to call them, micro. I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back. This is the back. So yeah, I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's doing well and um, be safe and take care. And I'll talk to you later. I'll keep you posted. Bye-bye. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Bye.